This is a uh, 04 F-150 Lariat four-wheel drive. I'm a uh, customer brought it in. I'm going to change the, uh, the rear uh, brakes or the e-brakes. Uh, the e-brake wasn't working on the truck. Uh, basically, you pull the wheel off, um, you pull the caliper off, and then rotors right here, the rear rotor, you pull this rotor off. Now, I've already beat this and got it loose. Yours probably is not going to come loose like this, but uh, once you take it off, you can see the e-brake shoes right there. As you can see, this one has no pad left or no shoe left. There's nothing nothing there. So it's just grinding. Um, no no e-brake whatsoever. Um, while I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and replace the wheel bearing seals and the wheel bearings themselves. This is a, a nine and three quarter inch rear end with a, a six lug um, axle. Uh, basically, if you go to O'Reilly's, you can get the parts. Um, there's a part number for the rotor and then the uh, e-brake shoe, the wheel bearing, the wheel seals, then you want to get 75 140 gear oil synthetic and then you want to get the friction modifier which is this limited slip supplement and you can get a Felpro gasket for the for the rear end. Now the right one was leaking it's got quite a bit of oil you know on on the rotor and then uh, if you look right here you can see oil all over the brakes not good but really it's not too hard of a job to do uh, whenever you get underneath here um, and take the rear cover off uh, leave a couple of bolts in there and pop that cover off so you can let the oil drip down in the drain pan or else or else you're gonna have oil all over the place but uh basically once you get the cover off you'll get to this bolt right here which is 3 8 inch um, pull that bolt out and then this pin right here you'll pop it out and then you'll go back to your axle on the outside where the tire mounts to it. Push inward. Whenever you push inward, you'll see the shafts pop out right there. And you'll see the uh, C-clips. You, know, you can do one at a time. Get the C-clips out. Once you get the C-clips out, you'll be able to pull the axle right out. And basically, whenever you're putting it back together, um, it basically all, it's just reversed. Now, I don't, I don't know if it's directional, but I usually uh, put them in the same way that I pull them out. And, uh, usually if the rear end's leaking like that as far as on one side, it's usually a good idea to go ahead and just replace the wheel bearings while you're in there. It's really not that hard. Um, saves you some more time and probably money in the long run. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Just replacing the rear bearing seals, uh, wheel bearings themselves, and uh, the e-brakes on the uh, 04 uh, F-150. It's a new body style. But uh, there you go.